Oh, for fake. Right. So uh, I'm going to just, uh, this is Equipping Heaven Dwellers, 22nd of June. Last time we met together, we decided that this time we might engage the courts and go see. The courts are, are in Father's heart. And we go to the courts because we're wanting to say, Daddy, something's not right here. <laughs> and so we either have a mandate that's been given to us because it's in our scroll, or we have a mandate because it's for us. <laughs> and God, we know what our inheritance is to be nothing less than the standard heart of Christ's own perfection. So we're wanting to see that manifest. And sometimes we need to go into the courts over some things. So today we decided that we would, we would go with a mandate and the mandate would be about provision. It would be about the, the provision for us to have what we know is ours because we know the promises and the promises are abundant, abundance of provision. And that father takes the light in our provision he, he takes pleasure in our prosperity, which includes financial provision. And so we're going to go into the courts. But before we do, I'm just going to see if I can screen share. Okay. All right. Can you see this? I know it's not very clear. All right. For some reason, it's, it's, it's blurred. And I can't seem to get it to be more clear. But if you look, you can see that there are different places where the different courts are. So they're in, they're in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, heaven, heaven of heavens, all right? So in the kingdom of God, we have the mobile court, the court of angels, and the court of war. Then we have the court of chancellors and the court of scribes. Then we have the court of kings. The Council of the Fathers, the Court of the Upright, that's the Cloud of Witnesses and so on. And then we have the Court of Judges, the Court of the Lord, which is called the Yasad. That's actually where we engage with Father about our scroll and blueprint before we come into our mother's room. And so that's the Court of the Lord or the Yasad. And that the Court of Seventy, that court has to do with you know, of the cosmos more. All right. So I'm going to stop the share. And I'm going to make us a little smaller. So where we'll start off today is because we're going to go and take this mandate to, with regard to our lives, we're going to go in to the mobile court. The mobile court is the place where we have the blood that speaks for us. We have Yeshua, our, our mediator. We have Daddy as the judge. We have angels, and particularly angels assigned to us, to our scroll and, and to our lives. And those in the, in the, those that are part of the cloud of witnesses that might have specific purposes. They might be those that were in our bloodline that have specific purposes to do with our, our blueprint. And uh, so that's the atmosphere of the mobile court, but it's also the place. It is at the court where there's the judgment that was provided by Jesus on the cross is established. And anything that has been hindering that is exposed and we're able to judge it. So it's a place where we take a position of repentance, meaning where we come out of agreement with whatever it is that we are shown has been blocking our flow of what we know is ours. And I just want to say at the outset that, yes, we are a brand new kind of creation and all things are new. At the same time, if we're not seeing the results of things, it can be that there is still a blockage in the DNA. And, you know, it's kind of like this. Our DNA needs to be switched 
on property and it, it carries the memories of things. So sometimes there's a tendency through the DNA of a flow of things that was operating in our generationals before us that was given room where the enemy was given room to carry out certain things against us and they are still in some way operating and so we get to see these things in the mobile court these things get to be shown to us today as we come we're going to come as one and we're going to present our case to say we agree you know that abundant blessings and provisions are ours and that we are asking to be shown what has and or is in any way blocking that. Because we're coming together as a group, we will be get sensitized to certain things. And the way we can do this is we can uh, unmute at that moment in time and say, I repent on behalf of our bloodline for whatever it is that we're shown. Um, so, then, then we can all agree with one another. So we're coming to present a case corporately on behalf of us as a corporate body today with regard to the blessings of the provision we know is ours. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into the court. We're going to look around. We're going to see. We can share a little bit to start with what we're seeing, what we're you know, let's please share the colors, whatever it is that we're seeing in this mobile court. And then we'll start to present the case. And then, as I said, whatever comes to you as any sort of, you know, something to take a place of repentance on, when it comes to you, you know that that's something to take a stand on and say, I, I repent. And we'll do that. And then when we feel like we have come to a place of rest about that. In other words, we've, we've sort of exhausted the, the thoughts about anything to repent of that's coming. Then we will take our place to receive the, the provision of Christ and we will take back what was stolen, where it was stolen from us. Because I know that we are facing different things, but some of it has to do with sort of similar for example, when you're discouraged because you've been trusting the Lord for something that you know is yours, it's, it's, a, it's a promise given, and it hasn't happened, or it's been thwarted, it's been about to happen and then it hasn't happened, and then at a later stage it's been about to happen and it hasn't happened, and you know the promise is yours, discouragement could set in. And then what happens is that your faith is being stolen. The faith of God in you is being stolen or hindered. And you're finding it difficult to actually believe. So we're going to be shown what we need to see today. And I think it's going to be really exciting. Without any further ado, uh, let's go in and engage. So we just join together as one in spirit. Let's just join our heads together as one. We knit together as one. We just come together in this wonderful unity that's ours. And we just knit together in spirit as one. We embrace each other's spirit being that we are. We love and honor each one. We receive the glory of Christ in each one. We come together in submission to you, Holy Spirit, submitting our spirit, soul, and body to your government today. And we just want to have the courts of heaven in our Father's heart opened up to us. And we are coming with a mandate today. So we step in to this mobile court together. And Father, we have come to this mobile court to say, we've come to look and see. And then we've come to say, 
that something needs to change. And we're willing to see and to hear and to agree with you. So let's just take a moment, look around, activate sight, smell, taste, feel, hear, and share. Dimitri said he's just had Raquel, the angel of justice and fairness, appear, and her name means friend of God. Remember to share colors as well. What does the atmosphere look like in terms of color? Um, what are you feeling as you sit, is standing here? Okay, this, this is what I saw. First of all, I saw the color yellow. And then I saw a large palm tree just all of a sudden grow up. You know, it just grew in the uh, in the courtroom. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I sensed I was in the um, in garden with grass, which wasn't my thought of what the court one would be like. Thank you. Let's keep sharing. Uh, what what I what I started to see was um, men uh, in white robes, but they were radiating light. Um, and it seemed like there was a lot of activity that was going on. Jesus was there, um, and but the light was expanding, so it was like it was light that was reproducing light. Wow, thanks, Doug. Anyone else? I got stuck. What did you say? Go Sorry, on, I got stuck on the palm tree. Um, and I know it's a significant, mm -hmm. so I Googled it. This noble tree is a picture of upright, as clearly indicated in such verses as, as Psalms 92, verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. And then um, mm -hmm. there's another piece that says... Um, okay, I can't find it now, but um, I'm very, when we walked into the, um, the court, uh, it was like an amphitheater and there was a lot of excitement because we're going in as a group and I'm just aware that we are already seen as righteous. We are already seen as pure and holy and, um, you know, through the lens of Jesus. 
Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you, uh, Lisa, for looking that up. I, it's so good, it's so true. Everything we receive is so good and true. And when you said Laurel, that you saw green, you know, like we're in a uh, in a garden. Immediately, what came well earlier? Let's put it that way. I saw some of the cloud of witnesses come in uh, to be with us. They have an interest, and one of them is David. And I immediately, when you said that, it reminded me of David saying, "The Lord's my shepherd; I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures." Amen. Amen. And then I also saw Solomon uh, with us, and Solomon has come in and has an interest in us, in this, in this mandate. <laughs> Let's keep looking. What are you feeling while you're here in this place? And when we talk about any person that we're seeing or so on let's all embrace those uh, so let's embrace together uh, david we honor you david thank you for being here thank you for your testimony we appreciate it so much we honor you solomon thank you for being here we honor you raquel thank you for being friend of god angel I've seen Elijah also entering into the court. And I believe he's here to show us how to release and bring in that which we. Sorry, Dimitri, you actually um, put your mute on before you finished your sentence. Could you say that again? Call for. Yeah. I saw. Elijah and into the courtroom and I got the impression that he was there to show us how to receive from the heavens and release from the heavens that which has been provided just as he called down fire and so forth I just got that impression in my spirit as he entered wow Wow, thank you, Elijah, for being with us. <laughs> I have such a how much they enjoy each other. These two, these Solomon and David and Elijah, just like there's such a sense of camaraderie that I'm sensing between them being here with us. We so honor you for being with us here. Thank you. Uh, I heard uh, Lady Wisdom is here and the Angel of Wealth is here. Thank you, Reiki. Lady of Wisdom and? Uh, the Angel of Wealth. I'm not sure if I heard. I didn't know there was like <laughs> Angel of Wealth, but I heard an Angel of Wealth. And then I sense that um, he's opening up like um, treasures. Wow, okay, Angel of Wealth, wonderful. So what I started to uh, started to see was angels coming forth out of heaven and surrounding the, the planet, surrounding the globe. And um, I'm not sure exactly what, you know, what's what, what what's happening in that. I know God, gives, you know, commands his angels to keep watch over us. But that's what I just began to see.
Okay. Uh, I think we're just being shown the angels that are, are ready to uh, carry out their purposes, you know, that are part of our our scrolls as well as our guardian angels and so on. Uh, Frederick, the name of the angel, the friend of God is Raguel. That have just joined us, we are engaging in the mobile court of heaven with a mandate with regard to prosperity. And we at the moment just looking to see and uh, sense and get an idea of what the mobile court is like. So, so far we have seen that there are some angels with us, angel of wealth, angel Ragwell, and lady wisdom. And then uh, some of the cloud of witnesses, Solomon, David, and Elijah are with us here in this mobile court. We have also seen that we are palm, like palm trees. We are already recognized as righteous and beautiful sons of God. And also we have seen that we are, as David has joined us, that we are um, so well taken care of. David said we lack nothing and he saw that and we lay down in green pastures and we've seen ourselves in the garden. We've also seen that angels are surrounding the globe. Let's continue to look and see what are we feeling here in this place? So I am just seeing the blood of Yeshua shimmering like gold. Looks like shimmering gold. I was just reminded that wisdom, riches and honor are with wisdom. Um, Michelle, I'm just noticing um, what has been said. David, Solomon, and Elijah is three. Um, Raquel, guardian angels, and the scroll angels is three. Riches, honor, and wisdom is three. Um, so, and and also the angel of wealth is um, with the angel, with the guardian angels and the scroll angels make up three. So it it seems to be a lot of of threes possible. 
various benches coming together? I sensed and saw getting a new pair of fancy shoes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The gospel of peace. As you said that, Laurel, I've got two things come to me. The gospel of peace. And every place you put your tread, I've given to you. And it's breaking that um, mindset and curse in our bloodline and generations before. They have felt we're not worthy. Um, we cannot come into the presence of God, etc. As we walk forth with the gospel, our feet shod with the gospel of peace, every place we tread has been given to us. In other words, the, we, it's, a, it's a fresh understanding of in, embracing our provision. Yes, I received that. And I choose to break agreement with unworthiness. Well, it's been coming up in my spirit as well regarding repentance in my bloodline. I just saw in my maternal bloodline one of my great grandfathers bringing into the bloodline that sense of not being worthy of provision. And then I saw him in one of the um, concentration camps at, uh, as during the Anglo-Boer War, and the feeling of despair coming over him. And I just repent of that in my bloodline right now, and I break that off, because we are worthy, and there is no despair. Um, Dimitri, in agreement with you, um, I'm thinking also if we could, um, well, also stand in agreement with you and break that over the body of Christ as well. Um, the, the sense of, you know, the, the, the lack mentality that, that the body has had um, for centuries, just the, the, the lies that the church, that the body is supposed to be uh, supposed to be poor. Um, and black, even though we, we quote the scriptures, there's still a, a lack mindset. Yes, I agree. We break agreement with the mindset of lack. Sorry. Yeah, and so the thinking that uh, being like um, uh, we have to go without so that other people can have, and um, this thinking that um, like maybe being poor is holy. Mm hmm. I 
as we are coming to hear these different things and we just speak them out, let's let's all uh, we'll wait until we've um, till they've all been spoken out, and then we'll just take a place together, you know, to agree uh, to repent on behalf of us and our bloodline and the ecclesia. So let's keep listening to hear. We've got some things already that have come out. Yeah, what I'm hearing also is that um, this concept of uh, loving the world it has been taken um, out of context. So um, we, are, we are supposed to be overcomers. We are supposed to be from third heavens over the world, um, not like lesser than the world. Right. What's coming to me right now, what's coming to me right now, Michelle, as well, is the purpose of the governmental um, bench that is seated in heaven right now is that as we have gone through this, a judgment will be passed and we have to declare a decree mm -hmm. over the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. I um I kept seeing um money being exchanged um from one hand to the next, but it had blood on the money. Um yeah, Lord, I repent. I, mm, wow, Lord. Mm. Um also I had this, I had a dream of a house. I keep seeing this house that, but it was, it was the oldest, smallest, darkest house I've, I walked through it. And, and as I walked out, like the, the ground was like mud and, and um, like at one point I could have fallen through the mud. It just, mm. Oh, yeah. Um, I repent, Lord. Oh, wow. Somehow I just thought of when I had the dream of my ancestors for some reason. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm. While uh, Rose was speaking um, about the blood money, um, what also came to mind was the love of money. Um, the fact that, you know, the, the things, the evil things that people have done um, because of the love of money being the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. mm. And I, I heard repent for not thinking big enough. You know, our God is big. He can do all things. Mm -hmm. So being small-minded. Yeah. Yes, we come out of agreement of placing limitations and limiting our God, come out of agreement and repent for mm -hmm. giving place to shame. You come out of agreement with trading on the wrong trading floor. Where the trading floors have involved the love of money and greed. And in blood on that money, you come out of it totally green, out of any form whatsoever of that involvement in this program.
I just wanted to come back to the shoes. The, the, what I got when you spoke about the shoes was that the shoes were made for us to walk in the spirit and to walk in our destiny and our scroll. And that, so we already have the shoes. We already have everything we need to actually carry out the scroll of our, of our purposes that we agreed with Father on. And also just to come back to that, because at the time that you started talking about the shoes, I also saw us standing around with these crowns on our heads and that we already have these crowns, a crown of life, the crown of righteousness, and many crowns that we've already engaged uh, personally to see, but we have many crowns, the crown of glory. These are things that are we are crowned with um, because they, they have been, you know, we are in the image of, of Yeshua. And uh, so we have the crown of rejoicing, you know, everlasting joy is upon our heads. Um, one of them is the crown of favor. I can second that. Um, I also felt that uh, with the shoes, as we walk on land, we own the land. We own the the places where we walk because we are we have authority, which is the crowns. We have authority on those areas where we are sent um, because we have favor there. It is ours. We can claim it um, and change it. Yes, and when you say that, there's plenty of room for everyone and, and no one should lack. And so we recognize that what you said exactly there, Lisa, is that where we are sent. You know, that, that has to, this ties up with our scroll of our purposes, that where we are sent, that's where we have even the, the uh, provision um, of land I actually see the land turning gold as we start walking. As you take a step, the earth around you starts, um, it becomes gold. As we walk in the shoes that we have been given, the shoes of peace, the shoes that are part of the scroll, shoes are for wearing to walk. Walking is about following the destiny purposes. I felt Jesus when I said that. I just felt Jesus just wanted to just draw us right into him. Almost like he put his arms out, like to just draw us all like into his, his embrace right now. <laughs> I also think there's a, <clears throat> uh, when it comes to peace, peace brings uh, harmony, resonance of equal vibration. Mm -hmm. um, so that is what changes the earth and the areas where we are sent. Um, it brings, peace brings everything into alignment. Um, yes, and Jesus is a Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. So are we. I just want to uh, acknowledge and repent for any lack of stewardship in the wealth that I have been entrusted with and will be entrusted with. Hmm. And also uh, greed uh, coming from a fear, not releasing hmm. and, and holding it in, in to yourself. The spirit of greed. Yes. Yeah, fear of lack. 
Yes, and, and with that selfishness. Uh, I, I felt like God your heart with all diligence for how it brings the issues of life and I repent for not guarding my heart and also um also brings to mind like you know um uh how 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 the the, the Bible verse says um you know may we prosper and be in health um as your soul prospers. Mm -hmm. So if if um if we don't tend to our souls then the areas of our life um could tend to be, you know, um, not prosperous. So yeah, that's why I repent for not tending to our soul, to my soul, and um, and ask the Lord to help me tend to my soul. And um, I also heard that um, uh, the 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 feel is um, uh, like like. Like you know, like um, I think I guess like you know, like uh, the the shoes uh, it are shared with the uh gospel of peace, and then you know, like when when we walk, and then like the 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 harvest is ready for harvest, like the harvest is white with harvest. We break agreement with hoarding. So uh, repent for um, the orphan and the slave mentality for um, wanting to obtain wealth in ways that is not of God, like trading with the enemy and systems of the world um, that is not approved by the Lord, in a way that is not approved by the Lord, mm -hmm. instead of trading with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Aki, I, I don't know if this is what you said, but um, so if I'm repeating you, uh, I apologize. But I heard, um, you know, trading, we need to trade out of Babylon, dealing with Babylon, trading in Babylon. Hmm. There is a better way. And I want, I also would like to um, say that, uh, Father, we just, we, we do thank you for creative ideas. Um, and say that we are open to your ideas on wealth and how to generate it mm -hmm. on your terms and in your terms, <laughs> mm -hmm. become in your terms. I just want to come back to what was said um, about uh, trading with the enemy and just um, so we can agree that, um, you know, we repent on behalf of our bloodlines for every trade into witchcraft, every trade done into the stars or into the 
into the galaxies, trade is done into the waters, into the earth, into under the earth in any way that gave room to witchcraft of any sort, um, Freemasonry, Illuminati, anything like that, that was in our bloodline, that was operating in our bloodline, and we just agree, uh, so we just repent of that. And we just agree that every trade is smashed and nullified. Michelle, if I can add to that, the scripture that says that um, we are to watch and pray. Um, I also know there's a, there's a verse that says that we, we just need to stand on, on the towers and watch. So, um, Father, we also repent for, for neglecting to watch, for neglecting to, to pay attention and, and um, taking into consideration our actions in terms of trading into Avalon and trading into the worldly systems. Yeah. is coming very strongly to me as well is how by not taking up our authority in the dimensions of who we are, we have allowed the unrighteous to prosper and we've traded into unfair trading as a result of that. And I believe part of what we've got to do as well is decree and declare that the 80% of the wealth that sits in the hands of 1% shall now come into the body of Christ. Mm. Amen. Um, uh, Dimitri, as you were saying that, what came to mind is you know, scripture that says is we, we lack because of lack of knowledge. The fact that we did not seek wisdom, that we did not seek um, understanding and knowledge and that we were complacent in, in just being in ignorance. Previously, I, I heard the scripture that the wealth of the people is not for the righteous and, and we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Wealth that is being used for wicked purposes is finding its way into our hands. The son's hands. I want to add sevenfold. Mm -hmm. I also was thinking that I heard Jesus say when he when I felt like he was just hugging us to himself, I heard him say. These are my wealthy ones. Yes, we receive that. Thank you, Father. And Lisa, even as you said sevenfold earlier, I think God said we need to we need to think big. So um, let's make that seven hundred times. <laughs> I heard a thousandfold. I'll take your seven, seven hundred, and a thousand, and I'll raise it to unlimited. Yes, <laughs> infinity. In exceedingly yeah. abundantly okay. above. <laughs> Amen, unlimited, says Ezekiel. <laughs> and with that, I had sensed earlier, I want to um, acknowledge and honor the being of limitless mm. and we come mm. into a relationship with limitless mm. limitless blessings limitless favor limitless provision limitless ways mm. As we have the angel Rockwell with us, 
as a testimony I would say that we, we repent for every way in which we've been religious about Jesus, Father and Holy Spirit with regard to provision uh, instead of really accepting and knowing the true friendship of who they actually are to us. And where with our religious ideas we blocked where we felt like we've had to perform for the Lord to give us what he's promised. Wherever we have attached a religious idea to a relationship with Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit, that has kept them from being who they are because we blocked it. With us in our bloodline, within the Ecclesia, Yes, Lord. We repent. We repent, Lord. Yes. Mm. yes. He was speaking, he saw us, Elijah, coming up again, and it came to me that scripture I shared with you right at the beginning where in Amos 3, 7, it says, I will share my secrets with my friends, the prophets. And Elijah here is as a testimony to that. And we honor him for that. And not our friendship with the Godhead as that intimacy of friends and friends. Mm. Yes. Mm. I agree with my brothers and sisters in all that Michelle just said. I repent for all entanglement and relationship with the spirit of religion and I come out of agreement and break all ties and entanglement and relationship with the spirit of religion. Mm. Yes. Having been allowed to be entangled with the spirit of slavery and bondage which is the moving spirit and the spirit of religion. We untangled ourselves from that right now. Yeah. Amen. Agreement. Amen. False identity. I heard um, a royal priesthood. <clears throat> so it's uh, 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. Amen. So we ask Lady Wisdom and Heaven to teach us what it is to walk as, um, as priests and kings according to 1 Peter 2. The royal priesthood. As, as he's speaking, I just see this yellow brick road. It's lit up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Just like a rainbow road. Mm -hmm. come out of agreement with the false identity and perspective and of gold and silver and how we've used them and we embrace and honor their original identities being beings of silver and gold with mandates for health and healing As you were speaking, Laurel, I was also just getting this actually somebody mentioned earlier the light coming out of light. And I literally saw our daddy saying, as you embrace me as friends, I release unto you. And I just saw this incredible light 
coming out of us and into uh, out of him and into us. And my whole being was for a moment just pulled with a sense of I am creative light. Mm-hmm. And that's grace, that friendship, that secret is being shared with us mm-hmm. that we are creative light. We have the authority to create. Um, the lady that spoke about the yellow brick road, I, I was reminded in scripture that says that the, ro- the roads are, are, are of heaven are gold. And then in terms of rainbow, you know, God prom- showed what, Noah, was it Noah? Um, the, the rainbow promising that God would not destroy again with, with flood. So the rainbow currencies, um, I promise that there would no more be bondage and destruction in terms of currency. Yes, and gold, the being of gold is all about health and healing and restoration. Full, full manifestation of all the promises that are ours in Christ Jesus. And we say yes and amen, and we receive them. Yes, and we, and we honor and embrace gold, and we honor and embrace the rainbows. I actually see us walking around with um, like bags of gold and just sticking our hands in there and just throwing it out. Just, um, you know, not having that relationship with, with money anymore, but just almost like throwing it out as, as blessings, as um, almost like at a wedding where you, where you throw confetti. Um, I just see us throwing it out. Riches, there's more than enough. There's, there's abundance. There's never ending. Um, and, and we can embrace that and, and carry it with us to give freely, to bless. Amen, Lisa. I honor my brothers and sisters in Christ. I stand in agreement with each and every one of you. And I'm also just very aware of the fact that riches is given in unity. It's for everyone. So even though we can each take it for ourselves, the main thing we have to remember is it is given to all of us as the ecclesia. Um, it feels relevant in a certain sense. Mm. Yes, I agree. And where with, with wisdom, it says, you know, with wisdom is honor and riches. And then also honor all men because they're made in the image. And who can put a value on our intrinsic worth as mankind? Amen. And and worth it because we we give up our ways of, of hoarding and of selfishness. Um, we become generous. We we give you know, for God so love that He gave that we that our giving, our blessing is is an expression of our love, um, a demonstration of, of the love that God has for us, in that when He loved, He gives, gave. Amen. On that, um, there's a scripture that says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall, shall men give into your bosom. 
for with the same measure that you meet uh, uh, withal, it shall be measured to you again. But I, I, it's if you look at the, the description of good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, it's, it's more than enough. It's, I, I get the sense where God is laughing. It's like, you know, the things that we put value onto is, is irrelevant. It's, it's small. God is much bigger than, than money, than, than finances, than anything. We have everything and more. He is laughing. I can hear him laughing. Um, we need to, to understand how big God is, to know how big his plans are for us. Yes. Yes, amen. Amen. Yeah. It, it's walking in that, sorry, Dimitri, it's walking in that relationship that Dimitri spoke about, um, not not as, as slaves, not as, even not as stewards, but as, um, and even beyond kings, walking as, as true sons, knowing who our father is. And also scripture says that freely you have received, so we freely give again in return. Oh, that's amazing, Bridget, because I was picking up the spirit. We, need, we have lacked placing value on that which we have received. And because we've received from God and freely given, we've not seen the value of it as the heavenly riches that are being released. And as I'm saying that, I literally saw this ball of fire coming out of heaven out of space like a meteor and hitting the earth and as the meteor burst forth it was just pure gold scattering all over us it was like a hit and just exploded and all these these particles of gold just started raining on us specifically lisa when you said you saw god laughing it was just at that point i saw it <laughs> It, it ties in with what, sorry, with what Michelle said about the, the blood that was shimmering as gold. The provision is all because of the blood, all because of, of Jesus' sacrifice. It is, it is able to be released. This might have been said before, but um, I just feel to repent on behalf of the bloodline and the ecclesia of... Um, placing any value on money because there are so many other values or there's there's so much more there's there's personalities there's there's uh, riches inside of us there's um uh, spiritual blessings all these things it's it it carries a lot of weight and we always think of value uh, uh monetary value and we need to get out of that mindset because money is not something we should even consider we should be spiritual beings and everything that we possibly may need will be given unto us that's what the bible says um so mm -hmm. we come into agreement with the word of god that says he gives us everything and more that we can possibly need our only focus is him his kingdom um and if we focus on his kingdom all these other things will be added unto us. He knows what we what we need. He, he knows all these things, but we focus on these things and we should stop. So I come out of agreement with, with that. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I, yes. I'm seeing some beautiful thing right now. We are all flowing so in harmony and unity that as uh, as somebody stops doing something i'm sensing that same thing and i believe all of us are experiencing that as we've come into this unity and where the brethren dwell in unity god commands a blessing thank you lord If you have repent for placing too little or too much emphasis on money, like um, not putting it in its rightful place, 
And then earlier on, um, I heard that um, um, like someone was saying like um, live as kings, and then I heard like decree your thing and it shall be established. So I turned to Job twenty two. So um, it says that thou shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine up upon thy ways. So when I look up also, um, uh, in verse 24, um, no, in verse 23, <coughs> it says that if thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up, thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles, then thou shalt, then shalt thou lay out gold as dust. And the go of offer as the store the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and shall pay thy vows. Yeah, so and then after that you'll be like, it shall decree a thing and shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Yeah, so I, so I um yeah, so I repent for for the inequities and also um uh and also like um uh declare that um like we, we have um first of all we, we want to um like be in union with um, Father Son and Holy Spirit ourselves and each other and then like and also um uh declare that um, our health, um, our wealth, our relationships, the things that the spiritual and the earthly uh, abundance and blessings in Christ Jesus, uh, we can experience the abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. What was that scripture, please, ma'am? It's in Job, Job 22. Job 22, um, 23 to um uh 28 thank you very much so i saw a beautiful swan swimming and having fun in the water spreading its wings and taking flight and just soaring. Uh, Laurel, I just got a beautiful picture of us uh, and the body of Christ that had seen itself as the ugly duckling rising up and just taking flight in the glory of its, in the fullness of its beauty and glory in of who we are in Christ. It speaks to me of dignity and beauty and faithfulness and true freedom. And style and elegance. Yes. We're on a new course. Or and set free. Mm -hmm. Innocent and purity. So if anyone um, still has something else um, to share on that, please share before we go further. Just one last thing. Um, I see us dripped in oil, but the oil is literally dripping off us. Mm -hmm. um, anointing. 
Mm. And it's gold. Um, I believe that ties in, sorry, I believe that ties in with the verse that uh, Dimitri gave, I think it's Psalm 103. Says where there's unity, God commands a blessing. It says in the oil, the, the the dew of Hermon or the oil of Hermon drips down Aaron's beard down to the hem of the garment. So um, yes, that I believe it goes with the unity. There's, wow. also, there's also the crown of anointing oil, um, the crown of anointing or the anointing oil, the oil of anointing that destroys yokes and removes burdens, and that crown um, of of the anointing oil is upon us. Leviticus 21 verse 12. Mm. I keep hearing to repent of um, militia. Militia. Um, I repent, Lord. I just yeah. Can you can you spell that? Um I don't know how it's I think it's M I L I T C H A. I think mm -hmm. it has something to do with the um military, I think. Militia. Like guns and mm -hmm. um the militia. Militia, yeah. Militia is the it's a militia is a group of um, civilians normally that align themselves with the arm with an army during war times and many times militia have been the, the cause of plundering robberies etc okay thank you Dimitri Again, that that links in with the blood, um, that with money, with the blood money, mm -hmm. um, that we were repenting of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Everything to do with using money to steal uh, the life of a person by uh, giving them a bribe to kill someone, or robbing others and killing them to get their wealth or provision. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yes, all, all instances where money or wealth has been used for destruction instead of for giving life, bringing life. Stealing from one another and plagiarism, which is stealing the ideas or the... Um, uh, writings or somebody's creative or idea or plan that's been stolen by someone else, stealing someone else's ideas or plans. Intellectual property. Yeah. And also um, standing in opposition to, which means it's not peace, it's not peaceful. So um, it ties in with the whole peace thing. We need to uh, repent for the militia side of standing up against in, in uh, um, aggression. Mm -hmm. I also, I also agree on that as well. Uh, I agree with you today. And what I'm also seeing is that the militia represents war and every war ever fought was for the purposes of self-gain. Right. And we untangled ourselves right now. And also jealousy. From jealousy. Yeah, and also like the wars and crusades um carry out <laughs> like in regrettably in the name of the God, <laughs> but it wasn't from God. Like there was a lot of that shit that um uh that was um carried out in the name of God. I mean 
then there might have been um certain um uh wars that 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 the lord um uh, uh, uh I mean like allows but um th there are also wars that the lord has not approved of to repent for the bloodshed. Yes, and and what comes to mind is the 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 with the militia and the wars and the um the things is is the shedding of blood, and I'm reminded of the blood of Abel that 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 cried for justice. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure if there's if that's something we need to look at. Standing up against brothers. Uh, true. Mm. I'm just on a on a personal note. God just wants me to repent of it. In my ignorance, having allowed myself to be involved in the Angolan War in seventy six to seventy nine, yes. and that even though I was conscripted, I had the option of being a and going to jail for the four years instead, but I repent of having allowed myself to be indoctrinated by that spirit at that time. Yes. Yeah, all war money, all money gained through war, all possession gained through war and through the killing of people. Um, and where our bloodlines were involved in that. Yes, and the shedding of innocent blood that goes with it, yes. Mm -hmm. Stealing of the lives of others. Mm -hmm. So Father, this evening, Lord, we just acknowledge the voices of of innocent blood that is crying out for justice. Yes, Father. Yes. Lord, even uh, I'm reminded, the Bible says that the martyrs in, in heaven asking for, for, for righteousness, asking for, um, mm. Lord, that, yeah, Lord, I, I, I don't know what action is needed, Lord, to, um, I think my, my vocabulary is wrong, but Lord, to appease, to, to bring peace to that to to those to that blood that's crying out for justice which includes abortions father, as a, and abortions father, as a, as a unified company with a judicial bench sitting in our presence we now bring every drop of innocent blood ever shed upon this planet under the blood of Christ, that it will no longer cry out, seeking blood, calling out for blood. We break the power of blood, having cried out for blood, through the shedding of the blood of Christ on that cross, and that blood having been placed on the mercy seat in heaven, that blood shall no longer call out for blood, I agree. Uh, I also add, um, like, if there's any willful um, animal or human uh, blood and flesh sacrifice to... <laughs> yeah, if there's any willful uh, sacrifices to the enemy, whether it's human or um, animal blood or flesh, mm -hmm. yeah, I also add that, that to be covered by the blood of Yeshua, whether it's um, uh, our bloodlines all the way until Adam's generation, so that the enemy cannot use that against us anymore. I saw the our bloodlines. I saw flames and a fire, like a forest on fire with billowing smoke. 
and praise and give thanks to our Heavenly Father for consuming our repentance and coming out of agreement in his holy love. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you received it as a sweet smelling sacrifice. And so we pray on behalf of the Roman Catholic Church or any other church that um, has operated in, um, they, they misrepresented God in abuse of power and money and human mm -hmm. and um, uh, teach for doctrines, the commandments of men. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, yeah, so um, basically, um, uh, like buying bound when 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 we're not supposed to buy and lose what we're not supposed to lose and like turn people away from the church and also um make slaves of um those who follow them make slaves and orphans of those who follow them yes amen Also, where we've in our bloodlines been involved in cursing others and, and cursing others in our bloodline or cursing others outside of our bloodline in any way in which we've operated in curses, spells, incantations, too hard. Yeah, obviously, obviously, the curses. Hmm. Yes, Father, oh Lord, we repent of, of division, Lord, be it through, as Dimitri said, through indoctrination of, of racism, of color, of um, status, of denominations, of beliefs, of religions. Lord, every form of um, manipulation to, that has kept us divided, um, we just repent of that as well. We repent for covetousness, wanting what others have rather than enjoying their blessings. And so we repent like other than doctrines of men, also we repent for doctrines of demons that have crept into the church. Mm -hmm. Whether we receive them or we give them. Yes. And not having faith in God. Mm. Allowing our faith to be, allowing the faith of God in us to be stolen. I think we can also just release forgiveness to all those um, in our bloodline and all those outside of our bloodline, all those in the body of Christ that we extend forgiveness to them for wherever they have uh, dishonored us 
and for where they have not dealt with the issues in their, in their lives with you, Father. We release forgiveness to all. We release forgiveness to nations. We release forgiveness. Yes, I agree. We choose of our will to release forgiveness. Mm. On all these issues that we have repented of, and we release our bloodlines for where they operated in these issues and, and, didn't, and it wasn't dealt with. And they hadn't put it right. They hadn't seen the truth and they hadn't um, dealt with it and brought it to the light. Release forgiveness to them. And dishonesty. Yes. Yeah, for lying about money and stuff. The deception. Yeah. Being deceitful. Yeah, and, and so I heard like um any um spirit of revenge or desire for revenge. Mm. Uh, I want to release that and uh, we release that and uh, declare that uh, vengeance belongs to you and you will repay. That saved the Lord. Yes. Mm. Also for the pride of having possessions and money and operating out of pride. I want to express thanks and honoring um, the scribe angels who have been recording all that we have been expressing together. Actually, um, uh, not uh, also like uh low self-esteem, any, any, like, um, any inferiority or superiority complex mm. that, that we might have felt. Drawing our sense of um, worth and identity from other people and the things that we have or, or like, um, the applause or the, um, including the uh, rejection, anything that is, that, that, that takes us away from our true identity in 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 Yeshua, the pain of that. Whether it's um being boastful or being too, um, like false humility and those things. Mm. And that usually stems from not knowing who you are in Christ. So, people that have a lot of pride. Is actually because they have a low self-esteem because they don't know who they are um, mm. in the Lord. Father, we just repent for as as a as a part as part of your creation for falling short of the glory of God, Lord, because we did not know you because we did not know who we were and who we are in you. And Father, and because of that, we've, and because of our ignorance, we've, we've allowed all of these things to, de to degenerate, to, to uh, just to go, to go back, essentially to go backwards, um, to fall deeper and deeper into despair and, and, and depravity and all the other ugly things. Um, Lord, because as well as it's been said, Father, because we do not really know who you are, because eternal life is knowing the Father and him who you sent. So, Father, we just repent again for, for our ignorance, for falling short of your glory. And, and, Father, thank you that we can shed it, even as that swan just spreads your, spreads your wings and, and rises up in glory and rises up into a full, true identity. Um, revealing it, Lord, I'm, I'm reminded of scripture that says that the the knowledge 
of the glory of God will fill this earth, will cover this earth even as the waters cover the sea. So, Father, we just thank you for that, Lord. We, we, we repent for falling into disrepute, for falling so far as as a as a creation but as a, as a, as mankind but father thank you for your grace that you still forgive us and that you that you raise us up um, as scripture says to be seated with you in heavenly places thank you father God just won't let me go of this friendship mm. aspect. I was just saw Jesus, Yeshua, reaching out his hand and saying, come, come sit here in the bosom of our daddy, because we no longer call you servant, we no longer call you slave, we call you friend. And mm. friends know what friends are doing. Mm. Mm. Tangle ourselves completely of any concept and idea and way that we still bind ourselves to without thinking of you in such a way. Yes, Daddy, we respect you, we honor you, but we are your friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father, thank you that that you desire to be to have friendship and to be friends with us thank you father okay let's come and sit sit together in daddy's lap right now in this court everybody come sit sit in daddy's lap and we'll just say daddy we are so grateful that the power of the blood oh good us. god <laughs> we'll just say thank you daddy that the blood was shed and that it removes all the trades that we've repented of. And it removes those iniquities out of the record of the DNA of our bloodlines. Now we just receive that glory, gold, blood, power, pour, just absolutely removing every ungodly trade we've repented of and just causing it all to just disappear and be useless and be irrelevant to us going forward. And that we um, just we receive that wonderful reality. We receive the new day. We receive the fresh new way. We receive the angel Raquel. We receive wisdom and her instructions to us. We receive the the benches of three that have come to us. We receive Solomon. We receive David and Elijah. We receive our own angels, the, the, scr the scroll angels. Um, we receive wisdom, riches, and honor. And we, we embrace every blessing and all revelation going forward to, to receive how to walk in the abundance of the blessings with you. As we sit together with you, Daddy, thank you. I'm seeing this amazing thing. I'm seeing I'm seeing daddy's got a book. <laughs> he's got it open. <laughs> We're all sitting in his lap and he's got this book. <laughs> I don't know if he's reading it to us or, or showing it to us. I imagine there's, there's pictures 
in in the book um, and father is showing us the showing us what his intent his logos what it was that he envisioned when he created creation mm -hmm. um, telling us showing us the his intention showing us the picture showing us what it was what he intended it to be like yeah i agree with you and i got that i saw this word and he will wipe away every tear As I was looking, peering over the edge of the book, my father was showing us. I, I just saw perfection. He said, that's how you must see yourself, in perfection. Mm. Mm. I also think he's um, <clears throat> reading to us that this was an appointed meeting. It was written beforehand and it is now done. So he's reading it in excitement saying, see, it has, has been written beforehand and you have done it tonight. And yeah. In coming in agreement with his heart and purposes for our purposes going ahead, futury, futuring. To see that there's no tears. When I saw the book, I saw butterflies coming out of the book. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, this reminds me of the Greek word metamorphosis. Mm. We are changed. Mm. Wow, they're colorful. They're just flying out of the book. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, just in mean, such a beautiful picture. I just suddenly realized you're no longer in the cocoon. You have spread our wings and been released. And that which Hollis captured. And it's now time for us to actually just float on the currents and the waves of the frequency being emitted from the heart of our Father. Mm -hmm. I just feel to honor each one of you in this group tonight. Um, I just want to honor you for being here as a family together and standing in unity together. It's um, overwhelming, actually. I think it's also so lovely to be sitting together in daddy's lap <laughs> in the court. <laughs> this court is not like an earthly court. Mm. I just saw like daddy oh, like turn the page and we got so excited. <laughs> we were pointy and going, oh! <laughs> wow, it's a wow page. <laughs> I actually sense that the book um is like um like kind of like a pop-up book, but it's more than that. Like 
is alive and and like creations is coming out of it and yes. uh -huh. and uh, yeah and 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 he's just showing us like the delights of the wonders of his creations mm -hmm. and we are like little kids um you know marveling at at, at the things that's coming out there's so much mm -hmm. wonder and life and amazement and when you said that racket also what dimitri said i could see the that we were just we're just being we're seeing the true frequency and the true fragrance the true color the true purpose of every part of the creation we're catching that frequency we're just seeing it the perfection of the creation as intended as it came out of father and his and holy spirit uh, as you were saying it right there and michelle as well i was also just once more just seeing the purpose of our restoration of all things is bringing everything back into its perfection and i heard jesus say i want you to know or oh, i want you to remember i want you to to hear that i call you wealthy one i receive that i receive it i receive it Mm. Then the living word. As we were looking in, into the book, um, I was reminded of scripture that, that says that, or I was reminded that God has made us to be the crown of his creation. Mm. And again, I'm reminded that all of creation and and the emphasis is it's more than just earth all of his creation eagerly awaits the manifestations of the sons when mm -hmm. we realize that we are the crown and that we when we start living and operating through that friendship through relationship and we i want to say it's, and, and until we become the crown of his creation that mm -hmm. we are that we are destined to be Yes, Daddy, I just thank you that I am the crown of your creation. And each and every one of us just declare that I am the crown of his creation. Mm -hmm. And I just saw us with these crowns when you said that um, with all these beautiful gemstones in them and we had these these crowns on and they're just the crowns of favor. And just in faith, I take this crown and I place it onto my family and friends. I place it on their heads as well. I draw them into mm. um, this discussion tonight. Yes, um, let's, let's, let's do that for all of our bloodline. We do embrace them into this whole encounter, into all that we have repented of, but also all that we are receiving now. We embrace them into that reality. You see all your family members sitting now with Jesus in, and with Father in, the, in his lap with their crown of favor on them. Mm. And we we'll also extend that crown to, to creation, to earth, um, because scripture says it's the will of the Father that all men be saved. So um, I'm just imagining... Um, earth with the crown being placed on mankind as as a, as a as a species as a as a creation it's the whole of humanity being and that song just comes to mind and i'm just getting that part that says and his favor is upon you and a thousand generations 
and your family and your children and their children and their children. Yeah. Amen. Amen, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's happening? I see him breaking it open, breaking the book open, and it's kind of it's like sort of bread, I suppose, when you're breaking it open and giving it to us to eat. <laughs> I've got that impression here as well on the scroll. And God gave it to him to eat and the sweet like honey. Mm. But it will not be better than our inside. And holy and beautiful because of who you have been made. And it's a scroll to do with our purpose now and our future going forward, participating in the restoration of all things. And a definite mandate. Mm. And Dimitri, you said it's like honey. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Like honey that's staying in, in our mouths. But unlike what we told us, the prophet will become bitter in his stomach, it sweetens our whole being. When you said honey, I've immediately thought about that. Um, he gives us the land of milk and honey, mm. the promised land. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can agree and say we are a land flowing with milk and honey. Yes. All things where it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh -huh. I just got this thing. As we live in the now of who we are and our being, all things are added unto us. Yes. They're not going to be, they have been, they are being added constantly to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There will be no lack, there will be no resistance, there yep. will be nothing but him, a walk in him. Mm -hmm. Joy is just bubbling up in my inside. I sense such a release on this. Um, just feel the atmosphere. I'm just feeling that. Wow. Yes. I feel very strongly that we are money. We are provision. We are, like you said, Dimitri, but <laughs> anything that's possibly needed we are that already for mm. those around us we are overflowing of all his goodness all his glory all his majesty is inside of us overflowing out of us mm. uh, if i can agree with lisa as well as that um as a manifestation that we just start to look around us for where to manifest you know that we start to look around us where as, as we're saying so we are money we we are we are the solution um that we look around to see where need is so that when when god's provision comes that we know way to give it or you know way to spread it that we are, are ready if i can say that mm. Mm -hmm. yeah i think as we continue to you know just come back into that place too with daddy to see we'll be shown ahead of time things and uh you know it'll open up to us 
specifics. As we said before, we are in Acts 20, 21. And we, I am receiving right now the provision that we repented of having been entangled with the wickedness of the world, that that provision shall be laid at the feet of those of us who are operating in the kingdom, and we shall distribute that there shall be no lack amongst any. Yeah. And there will be 12 baskets full as leftovers. Mm -hmm. That means the abundance of the fullness will be left over <laughs> for others. <laughs> oh, Father. Oh, that 1% that's been holding on to that 80% of the world's wealth is about to be upturned and is about to be poured out and all those who have need. And I think everything's changing. I love what you said, Frederick, about rainbow currency, because I have a feeling that as we are in this book and we're feasting on it, but uh, that Father's showing us that we're, it's all and all wisdom is going to show us all these treasures of the true riches and of how and of how to co-create co trade uh, as, it, as it is in heaven into the earth. And so it's all, it's all going to be new. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Frederick, can you speak about, Frederick, you spoke about the rainbow earlier? I got this distinct impression of the seven spirits before the throne of God, giving us the fullness of who they are in order to do that procreation to release the currency of heaven. Wisdom, care of them, all of them. All seven of them in the seven colors. Oh, when you say that, Dimitri, that gives me the, the, the freedom to share something about that too, because I was asking Father yesterday about, just personally about the seven spirits, as we've, we've heard from others and we've operated in certain ways of relationship. And, I, and as I was doing, as I was asking, Actually, what happened was I began to see how the seven spirits are all actually a part of my, the desires of my heart. And let me explain. The fear of the Lord, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Well, I desire to hold fast to all his truth and never compromise it. The spirit of might, I desire to release the power and joy and strength of him. The spirit of wisdom, for I desire to walk with wisdom. The spirit of knowledge, yes, I desire knowledge. Of course I desire knowledge to know all things, and especially to know the truth about all there is to know. The spirit of Understanding. Oh, my heart rejoices when I when I know understanding. My heart desires to know understanding. The spirit of the Lord. I surely desire to walk in a place of true authority and dominion as a king. Spirit of counsel. Spirit of counsel, yes. I desire, you know, that scripture that says that, that, that I have a tongue of silver. Silver means pure and clear. Yeah, I like to speak words that are pure and clear. And then there's another scripture that says a word spoken at the right time in the right way is like apples of gold in a setting of gold. Yes. I truly desire to give true counsel, absolutely. So these were all expressions of the deep desires of my heart. All the seven spirits of the Lord. And that is where our riches lie. Right.
Yes, that we will become the full expression of God, of the seven spirits of God on the earth, in he on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you that the seven spirits express the deep desires of our heart, Father. Thank you that they've been given to us and are with us and we with them 